Next, on Vox Africa, Anna Michael brings you unique showcases on Nigeria. creation, direct our noble cause, guide our leaders right, help our youth the truth to know, in love and honesty to grow, and living just and true, great lofty heights attain, to build a nation where peace and justice shall reign. Amen. Today, the 17th of November 2016, we are gathered here to make another statement that beyond oil, the arts and craft industry, which is an aspect of the Nigerian creative industry, is the next destination to Nigeria's economic diversification, if properly harnessed. For the NCAC, we sincerely believe in the potentials of the sector and our ability to harness this, its intense, immense cultural attributes towards corporate growth and national development. Permit me, distinguished guests, to quote one of the speeches from our amiable DG, Mrs. Dayo Keshi, and I quote, a nation's culture is its wealth. Let's take you down memory lane. The eighth edition of um, AFAC Expo 2015 took place from Thursday 27th August to Thursday 15th October 2015, and the theme was showcasing the inevitable role of culture in national development and economic diversification. It was part of NCAC at 40 celebrations. We want to draw attention to the primacy of culture and give it the place it deserves in the nation's quest for economic diversification. The Council is working at opening new visas of cultural development and laying concrete foundations 
for a future where the projection of the creative industries and heritages as an economic gold mine shall be a cardinal focus. It is the Council's belief that the potentials for national growth and development cannot be overemphasized. As I said earlier, the theme of this year's Expo is aimed at unearthing, exploring, exhibiting, and marketing the potentials that abound in the culture industry. Last year, we had 17 countries participating in the AFAC Expo, 15 states plus the FCT, and over 80 NGOs. We are honored this day to have all of you to celebrate the ninth edition of the African Arts and Arts and Culture Expo. Welcome you all and I thank you 
for doing what you do best, exhibiting the best of Africa's and Nigeria's arts and crafts. Thank you for coming. Indeed, it is a great pleasure that I welcome you all to the ninth edition of African Arts and Craft Expo, AFA 2016. This event is intended to reawaken our consciousness of the abundant potentials in the cultural industries that could be tapped and developed towards addressing the challenges we currently face in youth empowerment and wealth creation. Certainly your presence today is a clear indication of your zeal and drive towards embracing our initiative and target of uplifting the quality of life of the rural populace with the target being our youths and women. Meanwhile, I want to also, at this point, say that the council continuously, against all odds, put up the African Arts and Crafts Expo, mainly because we do believe strongly that the innovative ideas and the management of AFA into showcasing the true value of the arts and craft sector in this country is the mainstay that will keep this sector strong and reliable. However, it has always been pushed aside as a mere, mere industry for entertainment. These days we know that entertainment is money and entertainment brings money. For example, the National Theatre after so many years, still attracts visitors, especially those who live outside Lagos. Our parks should become a place of leisure, while pro providing and showcasing large, larger than life statues of all our heroes' past. While children walk through the park, the park they must be learning of our great heroes who have made Nigeria the country it is today. In conclusion, I am delighted to inform you that a lot has been packaged for a well-rounded expo. The Investment Forum, with the keynote topic, African Arts and Crafts, a catalyst for investment in the creative industry, is scheduled for the 24th of November, 2016. While the topic for the roundtable discussion is igniting the creative industry for sustainable investment. As a way of rewarding excellence, the program will round off with some awards for the best product design, as well as for innovative and enterprising exhibitors in both individual and country categories. This will be held as part of the closing ceremony on the 29th of November, 2016. Once again, our own very excellencies, our distinguished guests, our special guests of honor, leaders and members of the diplomatic corps, national assembly, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, you are all welcome to AFA, Arts and Crafts Fair. 2016. We wish you a rewarding experience. Thank you and God bless. Events like this, of course, will give us the opportunity of assessing 
really what you are doing, your different ministry departments and agencies. And then of course, when you ask for appropriation, you're able to meet with the achievement of some of these activities. I can tell you that next time there will be no arguments because we are seeing all these actions. First, let me bring the warm felicitations of the Senate President, Senator Angwa Kapukala Saraki, the entire leadership of the Senate. My committee had an oversight to NCAC. It was very clear that the message that we gave to the DG and our course members of our management team is that please go ahead and do all the needful in creating an alternative for this country, particularly in improving on our GDP and of course our national revenue. I was not too surprised when I saw the artist that came here a while ago who gave that very beautiful performance to hear that they are all staffers in NCAC and of course even with that in the superlative performance one would have expected that at least even all these guys that have been entertained will pay for that action or for that display. I want to tell you that from now on, one whether the invitation comes or not, we will attend your functions so that we have an insight or a better insight into your set of objectives from the activities that you perform so that we will be able to assist you in adjusting your laws you know, for you to realize the objectives for which you were established. I want to say that this eighth Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is going to do all that is possible within, within this tenure of four years, that all the subsisting bills that were brought before the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh Senate, this time around, I want to assure you that as chairman of Senate Committee on Culture and Tourism, and then of course working in unison with the committee in the House of Representatives, we'll be able to pass all these bills before this uh, National Assembly is brought to a close. So I think the board now is in your thoughts to ensure that you do all the needful within this specified period of time so that we can be partners in progress in achieving this purpose. Once again, I bring you the very warm greetings of members of my committee in the Senate, the leadership of the Senate, and then of course, the President of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So I wish you very fruitful you know, sessions and activities I pray that God in his infinite mercy and grace will give you strength and see you through. Thank you very much and God bless you. For me, really, it's just to commend the NCAC for such a wonderful event today. My senator, who happens to be from the same place, Oredo in the state, has said it all. That the necessary support we need to give in terms of legislation, the existing acts, whatever amendments that are required from the House of Representatives aspect of the National Assembly, let me humbly say we will give our full support as well. I also bring greetings from the leadership of the House of Representatives from the Speaker of the House, the Right Honorable Yakubu Dogar, and the leadership of the House of Representatives, and members of this committee. For us, I think uh, we are all on the same page because it is apparent that as a, as a people in Nigeria, we need to begin to look and think outside the box. And one of the very main where we can actually grow our economy, create wealth, get our youths off the streets, employment, is actually 
the creative industry. It has shown itself in the musical part of it, from the, the band to the Two Face and many of them, the movie industry artists. And I'm sure the creative art craft should follow suit. We're also aware that government's attention is really needed in this aspect because we cannot keep saying we want to diversify the economy and we do not look into the sector. So I'm sure from the executive part of it and the legislative part of it, we will come together to see how funding can be brought to the sector to boost it, energize it, attract people and ensure that this becomes a means of national wealth. Thank you very much and God bless you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the warm felicitations of the Honorable Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohammed, who had wanted to be here in person, but last minute he was called from higher quarters to undertake representing national duties. He has asked, it is important to note that this expo, which has attracted the participation of stakeholders from Nigeria and other countries across the globe, has been organized to bring to the fore the economic opportunities that are bound in the creative sector. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the most remarkable indices of development since the century has been the mobilization of culture and tourism at the preferred form of economic development. Before we declare this expo open to the glory of God, to the diversification of the economy.